What's up guys, this is Andrew with The Lone Wolf and this is Drew and we are doing a 2019 e-bike roundup. So we went through and got 10 e-bikes and picked the best in three different categories. We did the best- Four. Four, sorry. Four categories. Best all around, best value, best climbing, and best descending. Uh, so let's get into it. We'll tell you which bikes we did for this roundup and tell you the results. took out the Trek Powerfly Focus Jam 2 Pivot Shuttle, the Scott Genius E-Ride High Bike Enduro Exduro, the Felt Redemption Commonsol Meta Power 29, the Norco Sight VLT, the Giant Trance SXE, and the Specialized Levo. So we've been working on this review for several months now um, and have had I think four riders involved in testing the bikes in a, a variety of terrain and conditions. Um, and I think we're, we're ready to announce our four picks for each category. Yep, so let's start with best value. Yeah. Um, right away, uh, the Commonsol struck us with the best value. Commonsol's always been a brand that's really, really good about value bikes, but this one definitely stood out. Um, what was the MSRP on it? Uh, I believe $47.99 uh, for the MetaPower 2.9. They also are having a sale on their MetaPower 27.5, which we reviewed last year, and it's I think 36 or 3700 dollars. So, um, if you're testing the e-bike waters and you're you know a diehard mountain bike guy, but you know want to just try the e-bike thing out, um, it, it's a great value. It'll get you on the trails on an e-bike, um, and, and for that, it gets our best value award. Yeah. And really solid spec for the price. Yeah. All right, so uh, let's do best climbing next. Yeah. Um, Trek Powerfly. Uh, the LT7 model, and that definitely gets our pick. Um, it's a actually pretty affordable bike, around 5,400 bucks in the spec that we tested, um, but it has an amazing climbing ability thanks to its long chain stays, a uh, really good power output from the Bosch motor, um, and the Bosch motor also has the EMTB mode, which actively uh, changes the power output based on your pedal input, cadence, you know, speed, grade, all that stuff. So it's a really great setting to kind of just set and forget and go on your ride. And that bike is able to climb up some impressively steep stuff that would stop a lot of the other bikes. Um, it's a combination of the bike's geo, the long chain stays, uh, the tire spec, the really solid suspension spec, and the motor. Um, but I think overall that definitely gets our pick as the best climbing bike in the bunch. Yep, and a very solid bike all around. Yeah. So best downhill e-bike, or I should say best descending e-bike. The Giant takes the win. It's a blast. We've got some pretty rocky, gnarly, and steep downhill trails around here. Um, stuff we've been shuttling and or walking downhill bikes up for the last 15 plus years. And uh, we're now able to do like three laps and come down that same trail on the Giant and, and feeling pretty in control. So a yeah. uh, killer bike. Um, the motor's a little noisy. It's got the Yamaha on it. Has great power, uh, but a little noisy. And we don't, personally like the lack of, uh, of a display on the bars. So those are some of the things that take it out of the overall contention for us. Um, so we'll move on to the best e-bike overall. Uh, if we had to pick Drum one, roll, please. we'll take it on. Norco Sight VLT. Yep. Killed it, absolutely killed it. Um, and you know, we had 10 bikes. It wasn't for a lack of competition. You know, the Pivot Shuttle was in there. Uh, the Levo, I mean, we had some really solid bikes in there, but the Norco was single-handedly the most fun, playful, mountain bike performing e-bike of the bunch. Uh, yeah. what, what was your experience when you first hop on it? And yeah, it was, it was a really close battle. Um, this is a game of inches, but I think that the Norco just took it on that last little bit. Um, the, the bike's riding position, the short chain stays, the overall handling of it, it's really light footed on the trail and nimble, which is not something you can say about a lot of e-bikes. Um, and I think it's probably the bike we had the most fun on. I think it's also, it's a really solid package. The, the parts spec, the wheels, the, you know, the fork, the shock, everything about it is just all high end, good quality stuff. Uh, that's really targeted at like a core mountain biker that rides hard and wants to use their bike like a bike and not as transportation. So yep. yeah, that's, that's it. Narco killed it with that one. Um, and it, it's honestly, I think like the riding it 
it is really exciting and super fun, but it also is the bike that makes us the most excited for the future of e-bikes yeah. because that bike took you know what we thought of e-bikes last year and jumped that up and you know that means everyone else is going to be chasing that and this time next year when we do the next e-bike roundup they're going to be even better than what we're riding now and and that's pretty exciting yeah so thank you so much for watching um we're gonna have detailed reviews on every bike that we talk about all 10 of them so we'll go into the you know pros and cons of each bike kind of explain why we picked one over the other and all that stuff so Keep an eye out, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're gonna be uploading those uh, as we go along here, but we thought we'd start out with the overall video having our best pick for 2019. So thanks for watching, hit the subscribe button, and uh, see you on the trails. Yeah, and if you guys wanna check out more of our unedited, unfiltered, extended cut uh, videos and reviews, make sure to check out our Patreon page yep. at Patreon The Lone Wolf, and we're gonna have uh, a lot more behind the scenes stuff that went into the making of uh, talking of more from on the trail, in the garage, and just kind of the whole process of this and lots of our other reviews. So th check that out. Thanks a lot, guys. How are you doing there? I mean, I'm in cardiac arrest. Can you filming me?